Have you ever felt like you're just not good enough? You know, sometimes no matter how hard we try, uh, what we practice, the effort that we put in, we just don't feel like we're enough. And a lot of shame and humiliation follows that. Jesus knows what that's like because the first pain he experienced on the cross wasn't physical, it was emotional. You know, as they led Jesus to the cross, he had Roman soldiers, Jewish people, religious officials, all screaming and mocking him, telling him that he wasn't who he said he was, that he was guilty, that he deserved to die, and that he couldn't do anything for anybody. Basically, for the first hour of Jesus's crucifixion, he heard people scream at him that he wasn't who he says that he was, and that he wasn't worth their acceptance. We've all felt rejection. We felt shame. We felt humiliation. We can relate to what it's like to be mocked, to be told that we're not enough, to be told that something's missing from us. And sometimes in the deepest levels of our shame, it hurts so badly because we know that there's a piece of that that's a little bit true. We can't be perfect. We can't be good enough. There's places that we fail. There's places that we sin. There's places that we mess up. There, there's places in our lives where we just aren't as good as we wish that we were. Here's the difference between you and me and Jesus. None of the things that they said about Jesus were true. None of the shame that they tried to heap on him was going to stick because Jesus is who he says he was. And Jesus did more than just share in our shame and humiliation. Jesus transformed our shame and our humiliation because of what he did on the cross. When Jesus died on the cross for our sins and rose again, he transformed our hearts and gave us a new identity. The shame and guilt that we experience because of sin has been erased and covered up. It's been changed into perfection and innocence. The shame that we felt of rejection has been completely swallowed up by the reality that we are completely accepted by the God that created us. All of the things that sin did that broke who we were were repaired when Jesus defeated sin on the cross. And so the question that we have to ask ourselves is are we living into the reality of who we are in Jesus Christ? Or are we allowing ourselves to be defined by shame and guilt that no longer has any power over us? What does it look like for you to live transformed this week because of what Jesus did on the cross?